Hi guys, this is Mike. In this Cinema 4D tutorial, I'm going to give you some sculpting tips. Okay, I have this one pedestal here, and let me zoom in a bit. And I'm in my sculpt layout. So there's a situations where you might want to keep this flat plane untouched. Now you could put a mask around this part, but there's actually an easier way to do this. If you go to your pull and you go to your, your, your settings, you have a, a, a little checkbox down here called edge detect. Now, if I'm just sculpting along, you can see I'm also affecting the top of my, my pedestal here or whatever your flat surface is. So if I turn on edge detect, I can sculpt up to this point and it won't affect this flat plane. You can keep your hard surface. If you have a hard surface plane, hard surface model, and you want to sculpt in, you can keep that edge, which is a really nice feature. Now you have this angle. So if you're sculpting and you want a you know, you have a bit of a lip here, you can adjust the 45 or you can adjust the angle. It's default at 45 degrees, but you can bring it all the way down. And then you can see it doesn't even touch that, that plane. So you may want to adjust this angle if you're going to be sculpting just to get it dialed in exactly the way that you want it. But it's a really nice feature if you're working on some hard surface, hard surface modeling. You want to keep this plane and you don't have to deal with the mask. You can just check this checkbox and you're ready to go. So in my next example, I'm going to talk about a little about radial symmetry. So if I go to my lump clay here and I go to say pull, we have symmetry over here, and we also have radial symmetry. So if I'm sculpting and I have uh, my one of my uh, axes, I can have my x-axis. So if I'm sculpting, you can see that we have this radial symmetry in the x. Uh, yes, in the x. Now you have it at point, but you can also have it in your other planes. So you can see indicated by these white dots where these are indicated. So not only have, are you having symmetry on, but you're also having this radial symmetry. So you're kind of doing a multiple tasks at one time. And in some cases, when you, you want to have uh, so, some really nice designs on your sculpt, you can do that using this, this symmetry. Now, we have point symmetry, but we also have custom point. So if you turn on custom point, you can see that we have our, our radial symmetry. But if you turn on the number, uh, excuse me, the multiple planes, you can see how we have that sculpt in. And you can see this by the number of radial strokes. If you increase this, and let me get on to a, a point. You can see how the radial strokes will work. I just want to get over to a, uh, a point where you can kind of see this a little bit better. So you have symmetry going on and as well as these radial symmetry points in order to give you some pretty interesting sculpts using these extra points, these radial strokes. And you can turn this all the way up. 
and this is going to help you sculpt out details that you probably wouldn't be able to do or it would have been more difficult to do with some of your other tools. So in my final example, I have this hole here and let me rotate around so you can see this a little bit better. So if I want to, let me select this, go to my pull or my grab uh, tool. So if I want to say I want to move this top area down, this could be either an eye or it could be a rock outcropping and you want to pull this down a little bit and make sure I have my, my setting. So if I'm pulling this down, you can see how this pulls this bottom part as well. And if I want to make some like global changes to this top area, it's also affecting this area as well. Well, we also have a checkbox called surface distance, and this is going to detect its distance from the brush to this flat plane. So if I can pull this down all the way without it affecting this area over here. So this is a really nice feature that if you're working on sculpting and a lot of times, you know, like I said, you're doing some broad changes using this grab tool. This is a very handy surface distance checkbox that you can click on in order to help you out with your, your sculpt. I put a link in the description to download project files. You can also download project files from this tutorial and all the tutorials that I've made so far at astronomicskills.com. Also, I created a Udemy course for beginner 3D modeling in Cinema 4D. I would value your opinion and if you could take a look at it and review it, I would really appreciate it. Thank you.